What's up, MV peeps? Gyro knots. I want to make MV peeps a thing, but yes. Wow, this is absolutely crazy to be sitting here with a wall of gyro MVP apparel on just nuts. It's been two days since the announcement and I feel like things are starting to calm down a little bit, but my goodness, I can confidently say that my world has been turned upside down for, for the better. It's been absolutely incredible, the response that we've gotten. Uh, I feel so much love and support by the disc golf community which uh, I was scared about because making this big move was pretty uncertain to me. I, I had a really good gut feeling, but you never know how it's gonna be received. But I think with, uh, with how we made the announcement and how it was received, I think everyone ended up being pretty, pretty darn happy. So I, I'm very pleased with, and yes, this video is essentially me just rambling a little bit talking about my thoughts and feelings about being on the team and at the end i'm going just to run through some of the molds that i'm excited to throw uh this coming season i'm planning a building the bag video slash series coming soon where i basically go through this whole disc wall telling you guys what may or may not make the bag but i figured for the end of this video i want to show you at least a stack of discs that uh, I'm pretty confident it's gonna make the bag, or at least uh, the type of molds. So, I guess what I just really want to make clear in this video is how excited that I am about joining MVP. I feel like I'm a broken record when saying this, but it is completely genuine. One thing about MVP, when making the decision to make the switch, I wanted to make sure I was going to a company where I truly believed in the product. And prior to surgery, I had the, uh, the pleasure of testing out, I would say probably 40 to 50 molds of the lineup. I feel like I have a very good understanding of the majority of the lineup. That said, there is some times where I pull a disc out or see a disc that I've actually never heard of, but uh, I'm starting to get a pretty good uh, understanding of what the whole lineup looks like. But the whole lineup is absolutely insane. I believe that there's over 80 molds and there's molds for literally every skill level. You can find the flippiest disc, like the Signal or the Ascend, and then you can crank it up to some of the most overstable discs you've ever seen, like the flare, the phase, the energy, so, and everything in between with a whole array of different weights. So that's something that was very appealing to me just as a professional who's enthusiastic about discs themselves, but also as somebody who recommends a lot of discs to, to new, new players or players of all different skill levels. Uh, I feel confident that I can recommend uh, a beginner a lightweight, understable disc like the Signal or the Ascend or the Crave, and the chances are they absolutely love it. So I feel like it's a product that I really can stand behind, and it's just, I know Simon's talked about this, it's just so different than anything that I'm used to. The gyro technology, I'm not gonna lie, I was hesitant when it first came out. I saw it and I'm like, what is that? But after becoming more familiar with it, seeing James throw it, seeing Simon throw it, it definitely piqued my interest. And then once I started throwing it myself, going to Michigan, talking to Brad and Chad, getting a science lesson on it, it really just makes sense. Uh, if you look into the science of it, the more weight you can force out to the outside rim, the more advantageous it can be for wind fighting, torque resistance, I mean, those are just two, but uh, generally speaking, it's, it's science. That's the, that's the best way I can phrase it right now. Yeah, it was, it's amazing that they have a patent on it and it's just very intriguing to me and meeting Brad and Chad in person and seeing how enthusiastic they are about building their company. And I thought it was so cool when I was there. Uh, Don Richardson, their dad, who an injection molder himself, just supporting his his two boys. It's uh, it's a family business, and I really I really like that. While it's massive for what it is, 
it's still like they got the grassroots aspect and that's something that I really appreciate. And I feel like disc golf is starting to lose with the size of it. Not necessarily a bad thing, but moving forward, I want to make sure that people remember the history of disc golf and basically where it all started from. So that's just an aspect of it that I'm extremely excited about and I think is, uh, it's just so, it's just so cool. There's so much, so many things I can say. The people who work at the warehouse are great quality people. Everyone that I've met so far has been nothing but kind and encouraging. And it's a new chapter that I just couldn't be more thrilled to be a part of. So thank you MVP for this opportunity and everybody who made it happen. Andrew, Brad, Chad, the whole crew, and of course, Simon, because I, I remember asking Simon, it's like, are you gonna be okay if I'm on the team? He welcomed me with, with arms wide open. Uh, <laughs> but yes, it uh, it's all came together beautifully, and uh, I really feel like I'm exactly where I need to be. So, man, the future is bright, let me tell you that. I think you guys have a good understanding on my feelings. Nothing but love, nothing but excitement moving forward, but I know a lot of you want to know what I'm planning on throwing. Without further ado, I'm going to touch on the discs that I'm very excited to throw, at least the main ones. Of course, there's a whole wall of discs behind me that I wanna talk about, but first off, the glitch. One speed, seven glide, zero turn, zero fade. Just, you know what the glitch is. It's, it's good, it's amazing. When I was testing it out, it was just such a fun disc throwing on short shots and it being more of a hybrid kind of catch slash disc golf disc, it's incredibly versatile and there's just so much you can do with it and it will make your game better. If you're able to throw it smooth, throw different lines with it, get a glitch. It's like the most fun you can have on the disc golf course. At least that's, that's what I think. Next up, what I'm planning to putt with is the Electron Firm Nomad. I'm really stoked on this disc because I've actually wanted to use a putter with a bead for a while now. And the depth is very similar to uh, the Rainmakers I used to use. And I feel like the, the flight's actually pretty similar as well. Uh, I remember first stealing a Nomad and I always just thought that it was, seemed really cool. And what I have used of it so far, I've been very impressed. And I have this really sweet swirly one. Support and James by using his Nomad. I think uh, I'm really gonna like this one. Then of course, I have my Prism Proton Envy. These are available at a dealer near you, or at least pre-sale right now, but hopefully coming soon to a dealer near you. The Envy, when James threw in the shot, I had Envy Envy. It's like a hybrid mid-range to throwing putter, and I remember seeing like old MVP commercials, Sarah Hoko saying, if you don't have an Envy in your bag, what are you doing? And what what was I doing? It's so good, like I'm just absolutely stoked on it. This, the Prism Proton plastic is a plastic that's never been uh, released, at least for the Envy. So I'm pretty honored to have it as my team series disc, the first release uh, for me this year. And uh, yes, I can't wait to just throw this absolutely everywhere. I think it's gonna really cut down on the amount of mid-range shots I use, because I'll. I'm probably gonna be able to throw this up to around 400 feet. So if you, if you don't have an Envy yet, then please do yourself a favor. You'll shave strokes off your game because it's, wow, wow. Oh, next up, I didn't put it in this pile, but without a doubt, the Pyro. Prism Proton Pyro is the plastic that I've used. Pyro's an extremely unique disc. It's, uh, very overstable, but I wouldn't say utility slot. So I'm gonna use Dismania as a reference, at least for now, I think it's cool. If you were to take an MD5 and give a little bit more glide 
and a little bit more speed and a slightly less stability. I'm absolutely stoked to have a disc like this in my bag. Think of hole six at USDGC at Winthrop, the beach hole. I feel like this is the perfect disc to throw, at least for me. I'm gonna be able to rip it hard on just a baby ante. It's going to gradually flatten out and then check up at the end. Can't wait to throw the pyro. Next up, we got the Hex. The Hex is a magic mid-range. Uh, before surgery, I was throwing this a lot and the distance, the glide, the torque resistance, absolutely incredible. Pretty similar to what the MD1 is, kind of like if an MD1 and an MD3 had a baby. It's dead straight with just a touch of stability, just your bread and butter mid-range. So this one's a Proton Hex. I'm kind of in between the Fission as well as the Eclipse, but uh, this watermelon one's pretty sweet. I hear the Protons are a little bit on the more overstable side, which I'll probably like. Fairway driver, I think I'm gonna be a servo guy. This is a Proton one from the Circuit Challenge. I have a, have a bunch of these. Really like the way the servo feels. Feels kind of like, uh, a little bit like an FD2, something that I'll be able to snap on a slight hyzer, maybe get a little pop up straight and fade to the left. Still, I'm in between servo, crave, and rhythm right now, but servo seems to be the front runner of that race. There'll be more on that soon, but Servo is sweet. Next up, the Resistor. Wow. I remember feeling these just at disc golf stores and always thinking, wow, this is just an insane feeling disc. Very flat, low profile. You got kind of the hook nose on it. I feel like this is going to be an incredible fairway driver that I'll be able to snap on a slight Anheuser, if not flat, and get it to ride straight with a very consistent finish, kind of like a baby FD3, so to speak. And with the profile of it, it just feels, it feels just perfect. I, I think this, it could be a disc that I do as a signature disc later on down the line. We'll see, but as of right now, this is one of my prospects for a go-to driver, the resistor. 6.5 speed that's just very unique and mvp has like these in between speeds which is actually really good for my game there was plenty of times where i felt like i had to power down on a fast disc or power up on a mid-range so the, the fact that we have like a 6.5 speed is going to be very beneficial for some of those awkward distances for me for an overstable driver i'm in between the Flare, Fireball, and Motion. I would say I'm leaning towards the Fireball right now. I think the Flare will probably make the bag because it is a little bit more overstable than the Fireball. So it's probably gonna be a Fireball Flare combo. But man, some of these Proton Fireballs just look like the most beautiful discs ever. So Insane, absolutely incredible. For me, I could probably get it to go, it's gonna be that like 430 to 450 foot range that I can snap it really hard and have it finish uh, consistently left. I don't think it's gonna be my utility over stable driver, but more along the lines what a, a PD would be. And I don't have it right here, but I'm in between the Tesla and the Wrath for my nine speed fairway driver slot. All right, now the drivers. What I have here is a Proton time lapse. This, these are actually uh, not released yet. I don't know if they will be potentially, but they're on the flatter side and it feels more shallow for the time lapse. Apparently, these are very overstable. I can imagine this taking my PD2 style slot. The thing with MVP, they have a lot of extremely overstable high speed drivers, so. I'm basically in heaven because I have the pick of the litter, but these uh, time lapses felt really great and this is probably gonna be one of my go-to just by feeling alone. I haven't thrown it yet, but I have a pretty good understanding on how a disc flies just by the way it feels and this thing feels money. Similar to that time lapse is the Nitro. Probably, 
I think I'm going to be able to swap out the at least that run of the time lapse for the nitro. They're very similar, uh, kind of potato potato. But uh, from what I have used at the nitro as well, just uh, it's the numbers are 13.4, 0.53, so extremely fast, very overstable, and wind fighter consistent distance where I can throw on an Anheuser, get a good flex at it and hopefully land right in the middle of the fairway. Now for some of my max distance prospects. I was at the warehouse and they had a box of the gravity, which is also known as the limit. Right now it's out of production. The numbers are eluding me, but I know it's a 14 and a half speed, extremely overstable. This one is, uh, has a slight dome. I have some white ones that actually have more of a pop top, lower parting line. This is a very good draft of something that I think I really will like. MVP has these crazy wide fast drivers, 14 and a half speed, which seems daunting for some people. And I won't lie, some people won't be able to fit them in their hands properly. If you have small hands or just don't like really wide discs in general, I thought I wasn't gonna like the 14 and a halves, but they're on the more shallow side. So if you've thrown a 13 or a 14 speed disc from another manufacturer, I think you should give it a try from MVP because I feel like they're actually pretty digestible and pretty comfortable in the hand. So the limit slash gravity is something that I'm really looking forward to. The number one prospect for my go-to driver right now is the neutron dimension. Like I said earlier in this video, I threw Simons at USDGC and I was absolutely blown away. The numbers on this are, I think 14 and a half, maybe a five, zero, maybe 3.5. That sounds just about right. The zero might be a one, but uh, wow, I am stoked on this disc. What I presume to be my all around driver that uh, I can just rely in pretty much any situation. Great distance, great stability. Headwind fighter to a certain degree, but just something that is gonna get to wherever it's going fast and it's gonna go really far while doing it. The Dimension is more or less my number one draft pick right now as a go-to driver. So. Really stoked to throw this on the bigger courses because I think it's going to serve me extremely well. So that was it. That was a bit of a video that was a little all over the place, but I really wanted to make it just to show my excitement, put it out there and set the tone for what's to come. There's going to be a building the bag video coming up. So please subscribe, stay tuned for that if you are interested in the MVP content. Uh, would like to get out, play a lefty round at Valmont with the MVP discs, and then hopefully come later next month, I can start making some real right-handed disc golf content because the recovery is going along great. And man, I am excited to throw these discs. So once again, thank you, MVP. Thank you for this opportunity. I am more than stoked to be a part of the Gyronaut community and, uh, yeah, it's going to be an absolute wild ride moving forward. And thank you guys. All right. Until next time, keep on dreaming and peace.